Hi, my name is Laura Guthrie, and I'm the on-site trainer here at Golden Quest. Today I have around me Barry, tattoo KC5. Barry is a seven-month-old comfort retriever here from Golden Quest. Yes, and he has been in training with me for about three weeks. Now, now, as you can see, we've gotten a lot more confident um, than we were in the beginning. We have jealous new friends out there that want it to be their turn to train. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, so now our biggest issue is more so his jumping than anything else, just because he has gotten more confident. Um, yes. So he's been doing pretty good. We're going to show you how he's improved. Besides the shopping. Good boy. Yes, definitely more happy and confident now going. Um, still can get startled sometimes with loud noises. No, off please. No, off. You know, I'll do that later. We'll do a leash later. Let's do place. Good. Now, he's, he's a bigger boy, so he kind of takes up most of the place, but that's okay. The whole premise is just for him to have his body on. because we cannot use kibble in his training because he finds that way too plain and bland for his awesomeness. He believes he needs really cool stuff to do his training and that's perfectly fine. So he gets his meals um, normally, but we, for training, we use something a little bit special in comparison to some of the other training dogs um, who have a higher food drive. Um, we use pepperonis. Um, I just cut them into, I just tear them into small little bits during training and give it to him that way. And he's perfectly content to have the small bits. Very sit. Yes. Good sit. Touch. Yes. Good. Very down. Yes. Good. Stand. Good. Good boy. So as you can see, this is definitely an improvement to the puppy that you saw in the first week's video. Um, he's definitely trying a lot more. He's a lot more interested. And again, when he does come home, I do suspect that you should give him about two weeks for him to really get comfortable and really show this kind of personality to you guys where he's fun and crazy and excited and playful and ready to have a good time um, versus his adjustment period. No, off. No, off. Yes, thank you. Off. There we go. Heel. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good heel. Yes. Good. So I believe I mentioned it last time, but with their heels, I like to introduce an automatic sit. So I'm not asking him to. I'm just kind of learning to him into one. Yes, good boy. So every time I pause, you'll see me help him into a sit by alert. Good. And eventually the premise is that he will become so comfortable. Good heel. Yes. That he'll just perform the sit automatically when we do stop. Yes. Right there, I did not lure him. He just sat by himself. Heel. Good. It's perfectly okay for the first couple of weeks to keep treats, a treat pouch on you or a bait pouch of some kind, or even keep your pocket full of treats and just do this where you're walking, where he has food in that hand. Because the whole idea is, yes, good boy. 
is that you're trying to build up that positive association with that side of your body. Free. Um, that way you learn that that's the heel position is to be next to you, you guys to be involved with each other and that sort of stuff. As far as potty training goes, he's doing fairly well. Um, he's not had any indoor accidents with me thus far uh, for this week. And um, crate-wise, he hasn't had an accident either. Crate-wise, he also is doing pretty good, being quiet. Um, we still cover his crate just because that's kind of the routine we've gotten him into. And keeping that routine is going to really help him in the long run. And maintaining his abilities that he the his um sorry I look at him and lose my train of thought um keeping his routine is going to keep him in the flow of things and keep him up to where he's built himself so his being more comfortable in this environment and in the crate is great and I don't want to disturb that so we're doing the same routine so I cover the crate at night and after the crate, so typically his afternoon session is like this. We have our training session, goes outside to play, has his last training session, goes outside to play, and then after play, at that time, you know, play is potty break and all that kind of stuff, then they go into bed, go into crate, cover the crate, and then I put on instrumental music, um, just kind of as a relax, a lack, a, ugh a relaxing thing for them to enjoy to help calm them down for the evening. But Barry has definitely progressed really great. Um, to be completely honest, I was I was a bit nervous uh, the first week for him because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take for him to come out. Like I said, I mean, I spent a good time talking to you in that video about how he was and where I thought he might go and where, where I didn't really understand how long it might take him and that kind of stuff, but he's doing his very best. He is trying to break out of the shell. Um, so I'm very happy with him. And like I said, just keep in mind when he gets to your guys' house, he just has to rebuild a positive association with you. You're getting to see how he's doing with me. He is sitting, he is downing, standing, touching. He's looking at me. He's seeking me out um, for affection and attention. And... He's doing really great. Um, his heel, like you saw, is a bit cattywonked, um, a little bit excited, but definitely good for a puppy who a couple weeks ago was really fearful of um, his surroundings, which is so funny because down in our main facility, he's perfectly good. Uh, he's very confident and happy down there. It was just removing him from that environment that he's been used to, and he was kind of unsure what was going on, but he's doing so much better now. He's getting more confident in new places. Um, I mean, definitely not cocky by any means, but he's, he's cautiously curious now, and he's doing his best. He really is, and I'm very, very proud of him. Barry. So, like you saw, he's a little bit sort of, Barry. Hello, buddy. Uh, we have self-confidence sessions at least once a day, and what we do is I pull out tunnels, I pull out my hoops, um, I pull out, um, I have multiple different kinds of tunnels. I have like a big canvas tunnel and I have one that makes crinkly noises. Um, I lay a mirror down flat. I have a wibble wobble board, all this fun stuff. And I lay that all out and I put treats all over it. And he gets to go get all the food and the treats over top by venturing through everything. And he's it's amazing how much those little things really have helped him get more comfortable with himself. It really is. Now, you'll still see him do some unsure behaviors, like he'll kind of look at stuff very unsure-like, but he's definitely getting there, and I can truly see that with patience, time, and without pressure, um, kind of letting him do it at his own pace, if you will, and not pushing him, he's... he's done fantastic and that's pretty much what I've been doing I don't push him to do anything he doesn't want to do um, but I kind of nudge him if you will so I'm doing it just enough where he feels slightly uncomfortable but he's too excited about the reward to care really so he does give it his best shot if he shows me he's too nervous then I just take it back a step or half a step or however much he needs to 
get back in his comfort zone, and then we'll move slowly out of that again. But he's doing really great. Um, like I said, all of them are individual. With him, he's done his best, and he's he's getting there. So I'm really excited to see how he's going to do next week for his final week because I really think that um, his confidence has gotten much better. So I look forward to seeing, showing you guys next week how he's doing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.